Right, after the difference of squares, we've got the difference of cubes, but also the addition of cubes. So just remember, you can't do the addition of squares. Uh, it's just not going to work, okay? You can do the addition of cubes as well as the difference of cubes. So um, it really is just a pattern to this. It, just try and follow it um, and try and remember it. That's all it is, really. So here we go. I have two things. Two things right out here, okay? They will both cube root this time, not square root, they'll both cube root, okay? Now, how you do it is this. Right, we have, uh, okay, it's going to be two parentheses again, but watch the second one is a big one, all right? Okay. Now, what is the cube root of x cubed? In other words, what times what times what? Three times makes x cubed. Well, it's just the x, okay? Just like you square root an x squared, you get an x. You cube root an x cubed, you get an x. So I'm going to put an x here, okay? Right. So that's the starting point. Then you keep the same sign in the middle, okay? Here we go. I'm going to keep that plus because it is a plus, okay? I'm going to keep that. Now, what's the cube root of 8? What times what times what makes 8? It's 2. Right, so that is my starting point. I have just cubed root the x cubed. I've kept the sign, and I've cubed root the 2. The 8, sorry, and got the 2, okay? So that's me cube rooting both of those things, an x and a 2. Now then, okay? So I'm just like, forget about this now. You're going to use the x plus 2 to create that second parenthesis. Knocking the microphone over. Right, what you do is this. Okay, if that's an x, you need an x squared to make the x cubed. I've got one x, I need another x squared to make the x cubed, okay? Um, if I've got the 2, I need a 4 to make the 8. What you're really thinking of is, is once you've got the x and the 2, you square this one, that gives you the x squared, you square the 2, that gives you the 4. Okay, just bear with it. Now, because that is a plus, I'm going to write a minus. Now, what you do next is, what's these two multiplied together? It's 2x. That is a 4. Okay, and that's a plus in the middle. And look, this, here's the reason why. Look at the last here. 2 times 4 is the plus 8. Okay, so what it is, is it, um, that's it. It's just following the pattern. Unfortunately, there's nothing else you can do, but I'll just do it again with something else. Um, so remember, I cube rooted the x cubed, put an x. I cube rooted the 8, I got a 2. And I kept the sign in the middle, okay? That plus. Now, then I thought to myself, right, I'm not going to use this anymore. I've done that bit. I'm going to use the x plus 2 to create the second parenthesis. So I squared the x and got an x squared. I squared the 2 and got a 4. And I think about it, when you square anything, it's always going to be positive. That's why actually the last term is actually always positive. Okay, that's a plus 4. could be anything else, but it's plus. And then I combined these two together, the x and the 2, to get the middle term right there. Okay? And that's it. Now, all I can say is, I'll just do it, show you, on this one. Let's do it again, all right? So, remember, I'm going to cube root this. There's a bit more to it. So if you cube root a 27, you get 3, because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. You cube root the x cubed, you get the x, okay? So in other words, 3x times 3x times 3x will give you 27x cubed. Right, so I've cube rooted the first. Remember, keep the middle sign cube root the second. What times what times what makes 64? It's 4. Okay, right, there we go. That's the first parenthesis. Again, I'm just going to ignore the question. I'm going to use this parenthesis to create the second bigger parenthesis. So, what we do is, remember, we square the first term. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. Okay? we square the last term. So this negative 4 becomes positive 16. All right? So I've squared the last term. And the stuff that's made up in between is, remember, it's this term with this term combined. So 3x and 4 is 12x. Now here's what even sometimes I kind of forget. 
if I've written a minus in the first because that's what it is here then I write a plus in the second so go back to the first question this had a plus in the first parenthesis because the question had a plus so in the second parenthesis it had a minus the last term will always be plus All right. But that's it. I mean, it's sometimes it's just hard to remember. Just run through it again and see if you can remember it. That's honest. That's all there is to it, really. It's just a little pattern.